The effects from the oil spill is likely to ripple from the Gulf all the way to Washington and to Wall Street. We are evaluating uh, the investments on this. And I know Milo Shargin, uh is here with me to talk about this. Uh, and Milo, just give me a sense first. I mean, with this oil slick, not only do we have an environmental impact, but also it affects legislation in Washington. What about for renewable energy investments? Yeah, no, it, it, very true. There's, uh, the impact is going to be directly on, on the climate and policy uh, that is going to be discussed in Washington during the course of this year. I'm not sure whether you're familiar with Kerry Graham Lieberman uh, bill that was supposed to come out two weeks ago. Right. Uh, Graham uh, pulled back because of the issue of immigration, um, and Kerry is still pushing the issue, has sent it to the EPA for modeling efforts. Um, but off offshore oil and gas drilling domestically was a core component to reduce the energy independence of the country. And now uh, look at what happened, right? Exactly. Um, and it was it was primarily to get the moderate Democrats and the Republicans on board to get the 60 votes to overcome a filibuster. And now you've got a situation in which the Northeastern Democrats, which are very environmentally friendly, uh, are will be very wary of a bill that contains that component. Uh, but I mean, this whole component of obviously, as you mentioned, you know, very important offshore drilling for energy independence. Uh, but doesn't it call into question whether or not the risk here is really, uh, you know, really does match this ind independence? I mean, is it really true that if we uh, did explore and extend, extend offshore oil drilling, that it would in fact result in independence? Um, yes and no. Obviously, the, the, the offshore oil drilling component is relatively small with respect to the uh, overall import of oil that the country has. Um, bear in mind that with renewable, e renewable energy, normally it's renewable electricity that people are talking about, wind, solar, uh, geothermal. Oil is really important for the transportation sector. So what is important there is biofuels, and we might see the tax credit for biofuel producers in the U.S. actually extended beyond this year, uh, and vehicle efficiency, which the Obama administration is already pushing for to increase the efficiency of vehicles. And I think that is certainly a trend that is going to continue over the next couple of years. And uh, Milo, just tell me, I mean, how do you think that these oil companies are now going to be viewed, particularly BP, but also others, how are they going to be viewed in Washington now? <laughs> um, very, well, with a, with a very wary, uh, wary eye. I can um, obviously, they've had a lot of impact on, on shaping the legislation so far, and now it's going to be very difficult to get their, their, their position through. That's right, shaky ground for them now. Yeah, okay, indeed. Milo, thank you so much for joining us. That thank was you. Milo Chardon uh, from Bloomberg New Energy Finance to talk about the uh, the, the legislative impact about this.